All right, let's talk about how we would share folders or documents using Google Drive. So one of the great things about Google Drive is that we can share our files and our folders with other people. I mean, it's really great that we can we can have cloud storage and that we can get to it from anywhere, from any of our devices or um, anywhere else we might happen to be. Uh, we can always get to it because it's stored centrally uh, out in the cloud, up on the web. But it's also great because once it's stored centrally, like in Google Drive, uh, we can share that with other people that we want to work with. So um, we have to be uh, very careful. Let me say this at the outset. We need to be very careful when we're sharing folders uh, because if you share something inadvertently with somebody, uh, you might be um, you know, uh, allowing them to see things they shouldn't be able to see, like financial information or other personal information. So you need to be really careful and know what you're doing when you share uh, information on the web. So let's take a look at this. We are in Google Drive right now, and I do want to share a folder. And so if you look right here, I have a folder right here called Summer Travel. So let's just say that you and somebody else, you're planning to travel somewhere this summer, and you want to um, you want to start planning for the trip. So you, it would be logical that you would you would have a folder that you could both access. So the first thing I would do is I'm going to go in here to summer travel. I'm going to go into summer travel, and I always do this when I share, and that way I know that I'm sharing summer travel and not something else accidentally. There's other ways you could do this. If you're back at my drive, you could right click on summer travel, for example, and do share. But I like to go into the folder that I'm working with, and then go to share right here. So I do share, and there's a couple of places you can do it as well, but this is the way I do it. I'll do share, and then once I'm sharing, I can add people to this. So I can I can add multiple people, but I can just um, add anybody I'm looking, I, I want to. So let's say, uh, here's another person. This is another me, another account that I have, CamacJE at Gmail. I'm going to uh, click on that one, but you can type that in, CamacJE at gmail.com, and, um, then, and then you could add somebody else as well. Now, let's talk about this screen right here. What I'm doing here is I'm sharing this folder with this person or persons if I have more that I want to add here. Now, I can make them an editor or a viewer or a commenter, and there's different uh, permissions that each person has. A viewer can only see what's uh, out there. A commenter can add what they call comments to it, but an editor can actually uh, change, add files. Since this is a folder, an editor could delete files, could add files, uh, and so forth. So we're going to let this guy be an editor, but you got to be careful about this. You want um, you want to make sure you do that properly. So now the next thing is, do we want to let them know that we're sharing this folder with them? You don't have to. You can click off notify people and it won't send them any notification that this has been shared with them. We'll talk about how they can get to it, though, in just a second. That you don't have to notify them, and it'll still be shared with them. But notice, if, and notice if I uncheck that, this button says share now, because all we're doing is sharing. But if I click this, I'm doing two things, actually. I'm sending them a notification, an email uh, to this account, uh, but I'm also sharing. I wish they would call this send and share because it's really doing two things if you tell them to notify, if you want to notify them. You can give them a message and it'll be sent with that email as well. And this is the folder that we are sharing. So I'm going to just not notify. I'm not going to send this an email to uh, this person. I'm just going to share it with them. And so now that document, I mean, that folder summer travel has been shared and you can see right here by this you can click on that actually and you can see that it's been shared um, I am the owner and then the other me James the Chemac JE I'm, I'm using Chemac JE2 at Gmail that's what this overall thing is here but I've shared this with Chemac JE now obviously you wouldn't do that you would um you would share with somebody else, not yourself. But the idea is you've just shared a folder with somebody else and, and that person should be able to access this folder as well. Now, how would they access that folder? Well, they would go to their shared with me, right? And when you click on that, you'll see things that have been shared with me. Now, that wasn't shared with me, that was shared with the other Jim. So let me go back to my drive. And there I am. So 
I noticed it's got this little icon beside it, meaning that it's been shared. This document is called San Antonio, and that's in the summer travel folder, but it has also been shared because when you share the folder, it shares all the documents uh, that might be in that folder. So another way you could share, and I'm not, uh, I don't recommend this at all. Instead of sh sharing a folder, you could have shared an individual file. Like for example, I could have gone to San Antonio and shared that. Let me show you, I'll go back up into my drive. Supposing I wanted to share this bucket list with somebody. Now that's an individual file, a document, right? So it's not in a folder except for in, um, it's in my drive, but I can actually go into it and I can click uh, share right here. There's a big share button. And uh, right now it's private only to me, but I can share it with somebody. I don't recommend sharing files with people because uh, it gets a little confusing sometimes what you've shared and what you haven't shared. Usually if you're gonna share with people, you're gonna share multiple files. So it would make sense to put them in a folder. Um, but occasionally you might want to share an individual file with, with somebody. And so you could do that. But I recommend normally going to a folder and then everything that's in the folder would be shared with them. The reason it can get a little confusing, if let's say I shared this document with somebody else uh, or with this person, uh, but I did. I made them a viewer instead of an editor. Well, on the on the folder they are an editor, but in the document they're a viewer. So the folder theoretically they could go in. You would think and change this document uh, to be editor because they have control over everything that's in the folder. So anyway, it can just get confusing uh, if you if you have individual documents that have different permissions or different share permissions with other people. So I always recommend share a folder. Okay, so. Um, and that's how you would share a folder with somebody else. And now they would be able to get to this as well by going to shared with me. One other thing to note, if, if you've got a lot shared with me, you might not be able to find it and share it with me real easily, but you can always search your drive and it will also, it'll search your drive, but it'll also search things that have been shared with you. So you can find that pretty easily, hopefully, uh, if you do that. Um, so that's what you're going to do to share the... Um, share documents with with other people uh, now or share folders with other people now here here comes the question let's say uh somebody calls you up and says hey can you send me the link to that folder again uh or let's say your teacher wants you to submit a link to that folder uh in blackboard that's what you have to do for uh one of your assignments is to submit a link in blackboard well how do you do that well one way you can do it if you're in the folder i'm in the summer travel folder right now i can get the link from up here i can just highlight that and whoop, can't get the whole thing highlighted. And that will be a link to this folder, right? So um, that's one way you can get a link to the folder. Another way is to go here and then go to share. And then down at the bottom, you can copy the link, okay? Another way you can do this is to go here, go to, um, go to, um, Sorry about that. My phone started ringing. Go to get link. And notice this is a restricted link, a restricted link. But uh, and we, I'm going to talk about that in just a second, but I can copy that link as well. So all of those are ways you can get a link to this folder. The good thing about that is that uh, no matter how I do this, only the, uh, if I send this out, let's say I post this on Instagram or Facebook or I tweet it out, the only people that can get to it are the people that I've shared it with. So it'll, it'll come up and say private, and it may even say something like, ask this person to share it with you, something like that. But the only person who can get to this is uh, a, a person that I've actually shared it with. So it's pretty secure, I guess, is what I'm saying. Now, notice this. I can go here, and I can go back to share. And down at the bottom, I can change this so that anyone with the link could get to this. And I don't ever recommend doing this unless you have a real specific reason to do this. So let me click on this. Um, now, anyone that gets the link uh, can view the document or I can change them to be able to edit uh, the document. Now, you might think, well, this is good. Then I don't have to add them as uh, to add them to this. I can just send them the link. This is dangerous, though, because remember, anybody who has this link could then share this link with anybody else. So you have no idea who's able to get to this document. Now, you, you might want to do that occasionally because um, 
you know, you, you might not care who can view the document or edit the document, but usually you do. So maybe somebody, maybe, maybe you've got some recipes at the church and you want anybody to be able to, to access it at the church or on the web or whatever, then you could just make them all viewers and you could copy the link and you could post it to Instagram or tweet it out, right? And that's a good, that would be fine to do. Uh, but most of the time you, you want to restrict this and so I'm going to change this back to restricted. One other note, a lot of times in, when I've talked about this in the past, I've called this a shareable link because that's what Google used to call it until very recently. They always call this a shareable link when it's not restricted. Now I'm going to start calling it a restricted link, but I'm really used to calling it a shareable link. So sometimes in my lectures or even in my uh, instructions, I may say, don't share with a shareable link. And that's what I mean. I mean to say only share it with a restricted link so only certain people uh, can access that link. Okay. So remember, when you're getting a link, uh, to turn in in Blackboard or to send to somebody to be able to access, the, in this case, the summer travel. You can do it by taking it from the top up here, or you can just come here and you could uh, get link. Uh, it's probably the easiest way to do it and then copy that link here. And see, again, this is restricted.